I want to say one more thing about the Volt's heating system. Um, the electric Israeli, whose videos I watch, he owns a Generation 2 Volt, and he said that the heater was just not that great. It took a while to heat the car up, and it didn't work that well. So before I bought mine, this one right here, I asked the people on the Volt owners page on Facebook how they felt. And there are a lot of people that said the heating system was their only disappointment about this car. You know, something like that. One guy, one or two guys did say that. It's the only disappointment about this car is the heating system. And how horrible it was. Man, when I got mine, the heater tore up in nine days after owning it. And I got it fixed under warranty. Not warranty through the manufacturer. Warranty through a company called Silver Rock. Because I had a 100 day warranty when I bought the car from Carvana through Silver Rock. They fixed it. But since then, man, this heater works phenomenally well. I mean, it works fantastic. I can't imagine anybody complaining about it. You know, I don't know why uh, so many people complain about the heater. Perhaps the heater isn't working right and they just don't know it. That's just a guess. I have no idea. But I think it works extremely well. Very happy with it. That's one thing I was really worried about. The heater works phenomenally well in this car. In my opinion, but there's a lot of people that say it don't. And there's also a lot of people that say, ah, it does too, don't listen to those people. Because I got a lot of those responses on Facebook too. They thought the heater worked just fine. What's the weather? In Paragold, it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. <laughs> 22, oh, that's cold for Northeast Arkansas. Our average low in January is 27, but 22 socks. Yes, this hat looks really stupid and weird. My son got it for me as a joke uh, for Christmas a few years ago. He got this and some goggles, so when I'm flying my flight simulator on my computer. Where you at, Red Baron? I'm going to shoot you down. But it works remarkably well to keep your head warm. And I don't care what I look like. So I'm going to pre-start the Chevy Volt 2015. But even though it's got a full battery, the gas engine is going to run because it's so cold. Hit the lock button on the key fob and hold down the other button for four seconds. It just started. Told you. Today we're going to be discussing the heater on the 2015 Chevy Volt. Now you'll notice there's comfort, echo, and fan only. I always start in comfort then switch it to echo uh, because if you start off with an echo, man, it's going to be cold in my opinion. But I can put it in comfort and get the cabin fairly warm then switch to echo. Right now we're using 93% power. 93% of the um, possible output for the heater I guess but I got set on 78 degrees and I'm a little cold natured I'll keep it higher than most but it is pretty cold right now you got your auto and your whatever but this right here you can switch it to any of those like a regular car or keep it on I got everything on auto that's usually where I keep it most times but we're gonna show you here in a little bit how I'm gonna switch it to echo mode we're on our way to Truman today Truman, Arkansas in my goofy hat. I'm gonna go see my aunt and then uh, go to Sonic for lunch. I forgot to mention that we haven't put it in a hold mode. So the gas engine is running despite the fact I got 31 miles on the battery because the heat is blowing so hard right now that it would really drain the battery. So I'm gonna wait. I don't have enough juice to get home, get there and back anyway. But I'm going to, um, leave it on hold mode for a while i got enough battery juice to go about half the trip so i'm not sure when i'll switch it just wait and see i'll just play it by ear i don't want to leave it in hold mode too long because so far it seems like i've been the master at overusing hold mode and getting home with some battery left 
I mean, uh, well, let me get, there we go, right there. I've owned this car 1,023 miles, so I haven't quite figured it out yet. You know, but the other day I got home with four miles left on the battery, which really sucked, because that means I overused the hold mode. I wasted some gas. I'm gonna try my best to make sure when I get home today that battery is depleted. And I'm already starting to warm up. Already. So, we're gonna switch this um, heater over. Hit climate. And then hit echo. Look at that, comfort is all right, down to 36%, 37% because it's starting to get warmer and the fan is blowing uh, less. Switch it to Echo, and it knocked it down to 27%, 26%. Plus, I'm gonna drop the temperature down to 76, I think. I may have to turn it back up, but for now, 76. And it sounds like it said almost completely off, so I may have to turn it back up. But right now, 27% of the climate power is being used instead of just a couple minutes ago, 90-something percent. Brrr! I'm already switching back to 77. Okay, I'm in hold mode. Back in town, I put it in a regular mode for a while and put the heat on echo, but now I'm back in hold mode, as you see. So, I'm gonna put this back in comfort. I'm not sure I need it, but it's there. Even though I've got it um, in gas mode, hold mode. I'm gonna put on echo because it is really getting warm. Maybe I need to take my goofy hat off. Maybe that's the problem. That cooled me off a little bit. I'm getting off this, getting off this highway and getting on this back road to skip Jonesboro, which is what a lot of locals do. Locals, like we get tourists, okay? Which is what a lot of people do, locals. I guess I must have thought I was living in Central Florida or something. But anyway, this road here, Rogers Chapel Road, CR905. This is a long, not long, it's just a few miles. But anyway, it's straight. There's no curves, there's no nothing. And look at this stupid speed limit sign, if you can see it. 50 miles an hour, which is ridiculous. And yes, I'm the only person on this road, the only one ever, that obeys the speed limit. I go two to four miles over the speed limit, no matter what it's posted, no matter whatever everybody else does. Look at that, 52. People can't stand when they get behind me and I go 50 miles an hour on this road. And I don't know why it's so low. It'll be at least 55. And okay, it's got a lot of drives and stuff, but up at the 55. You know, but anyway, I'll go 52 and people, if they get a chance, they'll pass me. If not, they can just put up with me. I was gonna put it in regular mode when I got on this road and I forgot. There we go. Yeehaw! Good song. There's a little bird of heaven now in your hand. Ha ha, there's nobody behind me on this road. Speed limit's 55, but I'm going 40. I'm pretty laid back, especially when it comes to getting somewhere. I'm in no hurry. So very few people can actually go 40 in a 55. My daughter would be having a cow if she was with me. I wouldn't be doing it if she was with me. Because she'd be like, oh my God, we'll drive. <laughs> Yeah, she'd be having a freaking cow, like most people. This don't bother me. It don't bother me one bit. I guess when you only work 10 to 15 hours a week and you don't have much of a life, this don't bother you. I've got all day to get to my aunt's, visit her for about an hour, and get to Sonic and get home. No hurry whatsoever. Right there is where most people would go. But us old folks who don't work much and don't have a life and nothing else to do, we'll go the leisure way. Yes, I like this song too. I like country, I like this stuff, I like ACDC, any, all kinds of music. Don't tell what's gonna play when I'm in the car. You know, speaking of music, you know, playing music on the YouTube channel, on YouTube channel, 
I watch videos and people will say, I don't want to get a copyright hit, so I'm not going to play this song or that song. All I've experienced so far, the few times I do put music on my videos, is it's I get a notice that says um, this uh, has a copyrighted, copyrighted music, and therefore, if there's ever any money made on the video, it'll go to the copyright holder, not to you. If that's the only punishment I get, then who cares? Because I don't get any money from YouTube, and I doubt I'll ever get any money from YouTube. The first time I did it was more of a family video, part of our vacation. I put on YouTube just so our family, my daughter, very nice daughter, and my kids could look at if they wanted to. And the easiest way to share it was to put it on YouTube. I put some music on it, thinking this may get taken down. But if it does, at least I'll have it in my personal file and it's more of a family thing anyway. Because I wanted the music on it for when I look at it. And that's the first time I noticed that it said, uh, hey freak, you're not making any money off of this. If there is any money to be made, we're gonna give it to Slaughter. Slaughter and whoever wrote the other song, I can't remember. It was on the soundtrack of You've Got Mail. But yeah, so if I ever get any money from that, then I guess the uh, guys at Slaughter can enjoy it. Cool, there's a car in front of me going super slow, which means I have an excuse to slow down. If anybody gets behind me, they can be mad at them, not me. <laughs> like I said, I'm in no hurry. Oh my God. Drive, you freak. Nah, I don't care. Dang it, they sped up. They probably felt guilty uh, driving so slow with me behind them. Don't feel guilty, slow down, slow down. Ah. Oh well, back to 55. Right here on this corner in Truman, there's a rocket. You can be able to sit better when I go past it. But I remember when I was about six or seven, my dad told me that it was a live rocket and it would actually shoot down any airplane that flew over Truman, Arkansas. I was so goofy as a six or seven year old, I actually believed it. I thought, oh, I hope a pilot don't accidentally fly over Truman and get shot down. Or fly over Truman not knowing it's there and get shot down. On the way home, got it in echo mode. I'm gonna turn on 76 because even though it says it's 29 degrees, it don't feel bad in here at all. It don't feel bad at all. I'm averaging on this trip, 46.1 miles per gallon. Got 25 miles to go on the guessometer. And my guess is I'm probably 31 miles from home. See, here I'm on this road again with 50 mile speed limit. <laughs> People can't stand to go 50 on this road. actually going uh, two miles over the speed limit. It was 52, that's what the cruise is supposed to be. So I'm speeding. <clears throat> A lot of good it did for this guy to pass me. <laughs> Happens all the time. I'll be going the speed limit, somebody will pass me and we wind up miles down the road right next to each other. Now I hadn't been that many miles, probably a couple, but we're gonna wind up right behind each other at the stop sign up here. <laughs> People shouldn't be in such a hurry. We got no bars left. It says one mile, but the last bar just disappeared. We're gonna go down to gas mode anytime now. I'm not gonna make it home, which is what I was wanting. I don't wanna get home with battery left. Right now we got 68 miles to the gallon. There it went, just went to gas. Can't tell any difference. I heard the gas engine just now kick on. That was the only difference I could tell. And I could tell going up that hill, it took a little bit more push on the accelerator to get, you know, to maintain my speed, I think. I'm not even sure that's true, but it seemed like I had to push it more than I thought I'd have to. Look at this, man, look at that battery power. See that? I'm going downhill, even though I've got no battery left. So, you know, like I said, I haven't had this car very long, but I'm thinking right now I'm almost in Prius mode. 
even though I mean uh, supposed to be burning the gas engine I think it's kind of like Prius mode where if you go slow enough look how slow I'm going and then maybe you can keep the gas engine from kicking on <laughs> wow the things I'll keep learning about this car come on battery I'm almost home get me home I don't want the gas engine to kick on if I just go nice and slow like a horse and buggy yay I made it home that half a mile or so without the gas engine kicking on it's still just in uh, engine still isn't running sitting here okay I'll make sure I'm charging at 12 amps I am be charged at 945 geez nine hours now I really would like to have a level 2 charger installed 68 miles to the gallon we drove 35.2 on battery 26.6 on gas 10.8 kilowatt hours at six and a half cents a piece might as well say 11 that's 72 and a half 73 cents 0.9 uh, gallons of fuel at 250 a gallon maybe two and a quarter two and a quarter and um, 70 cents almost three dollars right at three dollars to go to Truman and back total of 62 miles Oh, I've got to go back to the heat, make sure it's on comfort, and 77, because even if I'd gotten home with this, so I'd gotten home with that. I'd want it ready for tomorrow if I want to go somewhere, because I do have to go to the dentist tomorrow. It's going to be a low of 16 in the morning. So I want to change this uh, just for my pre-start to comfort and 77. Matter of fact, put it on 78, because it's going to be cold. All right, you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about the heater. If you think about buying a Chevy Volt, if you already own one, then you already know all this. You have a great day, and thanks for watching. And remember, chicks dig scars on electric cars. They really do. They don't dig these goofy hats. Don't wear one of these. Don't don't. If you wear one of these on a date, uh, you, just don't do it. Unless you don't like her and you don't want her to go out with you again. Then great. Wear one of these. Have a great day.